the game. DeVar Brown had a no-hitter in the sixth inning at Kansas City, but then those KC All-Stars came back to beat the Monarchs 5-2. Tonight, we have another report from the Monarchs on our kid camp. They are motoring through the Midwest, playing games, learning about the Negro League, and in this report tonight, the Monarchs are making movie dreams come true. This is what Iowa looks like from the inside of their 1947 bus. Corn and baseball can only mean one thing, the famous Field of Dreams. The Monarchs found out the farmhouse and field they saw in the movie really exists. Here in the house they live, there's people who played in the Field of Dreams. Wow, that's a very big house. Wish I had an opportunity to live in there. It's the place dreams come true. The Monarchs live their dream here actually playing on the Field of Dreams. There's Randy Holman at that. Uh, I built this for you. Pick your own ear of corn. Donations appreciated. Thank you. They didn't buy any corn, but just like in the movie, they disappeared into it. See you guys. This is a trip those kids are never, ever going to forget, and of course the adults along with them. Right. Uh, they said they really have to go back in time and live the Jackie Robinson experience. One, one player said, it's really getting, getting to be tough. I can't even play my video game on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not at all. All right, Scotty, Dave has actually... From the very popular Jim Eisenreich to the suddenly very famous Anderson Monarch. The touring team of 11-year-olds from South Philadelphia will be in Pittsburgh tomorrow, and a possible meeting is being set up with President Clinton, who will also be in Pittsburgh. The Monarchs are seeing America the old-fashioned way. Along the way, they're filing reports with our Action News Kid Camp. Tonight, we catch up with our barnstormers in Kansas City. Let the big leaguers travel by jet. This is a trip back in time, when teams made long road trips on a bus. To while away the long hours, our barnstormers have a bubble-blowing contest. Yeah! A Midwest rainstorm and a faulty wiper don't keep the Monarchs from a visit to the legendary Satchel Page Stadium. This is a living history lesson. So good. Right. Right here. Inside, history does come alive as the Monarchs meet a man who played with Satchel Page and wore the uniform of the original Kansas City Monarchs, the legendary Buck O'Neill. Watch you. Hey, play Desmond. That's my man. Hi, Philadelphia. Hi, Philadelphia stars. I knew all of you guys played with you. Before this 86-year-old was Major League Baseball's first black coach, this Hall of Famer was also the Monarchs' player manager. You know we played in Philadelphia? 1924. After everyone got autographs, it was time for the next stop. Tonight we are going to Jack Robinson night at the Royal Stadium. That's this will be a good night for us. But first, the Monarchs 1947 bus makes a side trip to the Negro League Museum. After a team picture and an interview with the New York Times, the Monarch saw Jackie Robinson's number retired at Royal Stadium. They are kids in a time capsule, traveling through baseball history in a bus, that wherever it stops, at a dirt field or big league stadium, always looks right at home. Monarchs will arrive back in town on Thursday night. They're going to make a stop in St. Louis, and mm -hmm. we'll check on that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. Thank yeah. you. The Anderson Monarchs are making their way back home. Those barnstorming 11-year-olds are due back in town tomorrow afternoon. Let's check out the map right now. They've been crisscrossing the country, sending back reports for us on our Action News Kid Camp. Today, we catch up with the Monarchs on their way back east. They show off their stuff in the show-me state of Missouri. Hey, check out the arts, guys. Our beloved.
beloved barnstormers have eaten so much fast food, everything they see reminds them of hamburger. Jamal Harris just called this the Arch that is Deluxe. The Arch Deluxe. Then a deluxe treat for the Monarchs, as they are shown cool Papa Bell Stadium, named for another Negro League great. Then it's play ball against the St. Louis All-Stars. Play ball! I was small, skinny, buck, four foot three. I called me a baseball bat from a tree. I joined the little league and got me a glove. It was then I knew baseball was my love. The Monarchs lose 12 to 10. These 500-mile bus rides, late arrivals, and early wake-up calls are taking their toll. But this is another special day because the Monarchs are off to see the wizard. Ozzie Smith, the famed Wizard of Oz, is St. Louis baseball. And the Cardinal shortstop meets the kid who played that position for the Monarchs. William Kennedy. William yeah. Kennedy. Hey, fellas. I've heard a lot about William Kennedy. William Kennedy's supposed to be a pretty good player. That made his day. Now, before the Monarchs left cool Papa Bell Stadium, Ozzie Smith right there gave young Billy Kennedy his baseball glove. You know, cool Papa Bell, they said he was so fast that he could turn off the switch and be in bed under the covers before the lights went out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Scott. Right. Well, as you probably know, we've been keeping tabs on a group of 14, 11-year-olds in their odyssey to recapture a bit of baseball's past. The Anderson Monarch baseball team began their 10-city barnstorming bus tour in South Philadelphia almost two weeks ago. And with them went the Channel 6 Kid Cam, with which they have been using to bring us updates on their journey. And as Scott Palmer tells us, today's update comes to us from Louisville, Kentucky. Hi, my name is David. I'm going to be your cameraman for Louisville. Smile. There are smiles all around as the Monarchs go batty. On today's schedule, a visit to the Louisville Slugger Museum. All right, we're going to head in. The tour will begin in about 10 minutes, okay? You'll see a museum, you'll see a movie, uh, and you'll go to the bat factory and you'll watch the pro bats being made. The Monarchs see white ash from their home state turned into lumber for some of the biggest names in baseball. And our first player was in 1905. His name was Honus Wagner. Pittsburgh. This wall shows all of the players who have swung Louisville Slugger, including Cheltenham's Reggie Jackson. Then it's on to watch a minor league baseball game as the Monarchs homecoming draws one day closer. Of course, uh, doing this is part uh, to honor Jackie Robinson, the 50th anniversary, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure that those youngsters had fun. They're supposed to be back in town tonight after the long journey. That's tonight, it. the Phillies begin a series against the surprising first place Pirates. Mark Leiter, winless in his last eight starts, gets the call for the Phillies. Last night, the Anderson Monarchs come back home. Horns honking for their homecoming, and yes, for these kids, it was the trip of a lifetime. It's the first hand experience to be on the bus and do everything, stay in hotels, play games on the road. It was fun. Hugs and...